don't know why I'm going to talk to you. You're probably just going to tell me that there's a settlement that needs my help. Well, something's going on at the lake. I wonder if there's anything like actively special about those, or if it's just here's a, a rogue encounter that you should do right now. All right, but we're not doing that. We're getting on a boat. This is a pretty good spot to do some push-ups. Okay. Well, there's a boat here. Huh? Kind of thought there'd be someone on the boat. Huh? Never seen an intact boat like this wash up on the shore. Something's fishy about this. And not just because it's on the water. Get in the rowboat? Yeah. The rowing boat begins to move. But we're not rowing. Not a great rowboat, huh? if you ask me. Say sharp, Cass. I don't know what this place is, but I don't trust it. Bright side pier. Don't you see the title card? Seems kind of clown like if you ask me. Let me in. Thank you. Oh, he's not allowed in. I can see a light up ahead. Hmm. Bright side pier? I guess you know what to call this place then. We know. Not not just me. We do. Can I fast travel out of here? We'll put a campsite here. Vagrants and vagabonds of the audience. Are you sitting comfortably? Uh... There are no seats here, buddy. There are no seats here. I, I get to say it. Uh, I'll just say it again. Are you standing comfortably? Good. Then let us begin the show. The time draws near. Come one, come all. To Brightside Pier. Hey, you don't have a nose. I am Gwen. Humble host and ringmistress of Brightside Pier. You have received a special invitation to the grand reopening of this once in a lifetime carnival of entertainment. Or at least, that's what I would be saying if this place was ready for the public. Unfortunately, I'm having some technical difficulties. What's going on? Well. Why are you a clown? The pier's three main attractions are each powered by rusty old machines that keep them running day and night. Something that has happened to these infernal, I can't read, engines, and now their instability threatens the safety of the entire pier. This happened on my watch, and because of the nasty blighters that have since moved in, I am unable to fix them myself. I sent out the boat to your island in hopes that someone would come and help me resolve my slight predicament. Alright. Alright, I'm always willing to help save the day. Sounds easy enough. Well? What do you think? Do you think you'd be able to give these infernal engines a good ol' wallop to make them work again? Sure. Fantastic! I knew from the moment I saw you that you would be up to the task. Around the pier, you'll be able to find prize tickets. If you collect enough of these, I'll exchange them for a pass to let you into an attraction. You have all the attraction passes already? Just give them to me, please. Mm -hmm. I am duty-bound as both a host and a clown to abide by the rules of the establishment. Besides, it's more fun this way. I, I like the tongue sticking out. Okay, so it's a pretty small zone. I did hear that this was actually somewhat small, so that's kind of why I was like, let's just do it now. All right. We're in. We're in, aren't we, Cass? Let's take a look around. Easy. I don't know what other options do I have to weigh that down. You know, another option might just be Like something that I can pick up. What is this? Let me in that one. I want that one. What am I uh, looking at here?
That is a weird looking shape. Please get in there. Thank you. Ah, I don't get a key. I don't know if, are you like a squid thing? You are triangular. Magic boy, what are you doing here? Welcome to taking the liberty of opening platform for you. Nothing. Very well. Getting loads of prize tickets. I, um, I'm gonna be honest, if this is the extent of what the map looks like, I feel like you probably could have fit this into the, uh, world map and just had a load screen happen. If, like the way the lights light up mean anything. I can probably get into somewhere eventually, or like right now. Was that a puzzle, or did I just have to interact with it? Oh. Many things in that one. I don't... I guess that one just had a... Weird, uh, switch on it. I'm dying! I feel like I could totally cheese this. I was right. Totally cheesed. Oh. Like, I'd imagine I'm supposed to be able to use this to fly over there. I'm just too cool. For some reason, I thought the fan was doing something. Alright, we probably should go. Probably do something. I mean, how many of these prize tickets did I need? All of them? There's like only one chest that I know about that I didn't open yet. I mean, so that's definitely weight related. So I guess I could just come over here and grab this now that I don't need it anymore. And see if maybe this plus me would be enough. I mean, Eugene could try to help, but you know how Eugene is. It seemed like that didn't want to work. Maybe if I hold it and stand on it? Okay. Want to block? I absolutely pushed it out of the way a little bit. I'm just climbing things just in case. Oh, in case there's a button up here. I feel like that weight thing has to be something, though. Well, 
I, we'll see if I have enough, because I sure found a lot. Hello? Hello, Cass. What can I do for you? Did I tell you my name? How about you? Hmm. You're asking about me? <laughs> Why, I'm just little old Gwen. I may be the custodian of the pure, but more than anything, I'm here to learn how to create. I spent a lot of my early life watching people create things, stories, experiences, the very act of making something from nothing that brings people joy has always fascinated me. I hope that answers your question. Hmm. Hello? I don't really trust you. Ah, Brightside Pure. I made a promise that I'd look after the place, so I can't leave just yet. I know people live out there on that island you came from, but this place is my home. I can't leave it. Not yet, anyhow. Hello. Hello. Just saying hi. I can get to. Um. I don't actually know what attractions is for what. We'll go. Green and pink. Good, I wanted to go into the witch's house. I hope this is spooky. Ah, oh, the walls! They're stretching! Might just be my imagination, though. Very spooky. All right, let's take a look around. Shut up, Eugene. You're ruining my vibe. Well, there's one of those new fellas. Not you. Banshee! Well, I would love to catch another one of you. Um... Now, I'm uh, really regretting spending... 20 uh, fusion materials on catching my own Banshee. I'd imagine this means that there is a way to get Can Devil here as well. Probably in the fun zone, if I had to guess. I don't think I'll kill. I hope I won't. I did just give myself increased melee, though. So, you know, hopefully I miss. Never mind, I don't kill. It's all good. I really thought Inflame would do better. How did I do so much damage last time? Alright, well... I'm gonna just smack you a little bit and we will... Spit on you to end your career. Never mind, that bike kind of got in my way. Oh, good damage roll. I can't believe that didn't kill me. Oh, but I missed. Very cool. I hate this game. I don't know why I tried to actually attack. Good miss, though. We're okay. okay so now I'm going to just... Hit you and catch you. Recording. Well, so if I don't like the uh, evolution that I get for Banshee, I can try for another one. <laughs> Eugene, you're dying. A little bit tougher to catch, damn though. Did you say damn it? He's not allowed to say that. No. Probably isn't for the best, because I think Banshee is faster. Miss. Great. Not going to be able to catch that Banshee now. Never mind. Thanks, Eugene. You really helped me out. Nice. Well, good start in the haunted house, but this is what I get for not really having, like, great 
tapes to start with and not giving them any like decent moves. My my band sheep's already feeling good though. Ice resist. You get jagged edge. You got like immediately you joined the party and got got bonus kills. That's funny. I mean I I want that guy, but Eugene's dying. We'll try it. Whatever. We'll we'll be able to handle it. Apocalypse Charlequin. So that's one of the ones I knew about that existed. Um, that was added to the game. And I'm assuming that that one thing that I saw in the fusion is its evolution. Oh, I like the way it's like I did whatever it's I think did when it attacked. Seems pretty cool. Prismatic. You turn into a lightning type. Might be a little silly. Ow. I really feel like you shouldn't be able to poison the poison type. Couldn't miss. That's the uh the sheer luck in action. I wonder if that passive affects me while I try to capture. So, Prismatic just switches your type around. That's pretty clown-like and I can kind of dig it. i just smack for now. I kind of want to try to avoid uh, doing too much damage to you, but... Oh! Ne never mind. Forget what I said. That was one smack. Cotton on. Reduces the accuracy of moves that can be evaded that tar- Reduces the accuracy of moves that can be evaded that target the user to zero for the next round. Wow. So, I mean, that's basically like a better version of Avalanche. Kind of nuts, honestly. Oh, we're gonna evolve you into something. Let's see how I feel about it, and then we'll decide whether or not I want to change into uh, the other Banshee. Hmm. This new mission of ours is to save this pier. It's pretty weird, right? Like, I guess we're helping someone out, but I also don't know what to think about Gwen. I don't know if we can trust her. I don't know. I'm sure it's fine. I'm just gonna say we can trust her. It doesn't matter. Whatever the case, stay on your guard, buddy. Who knows what we'll find out here? A clown and a banshee. Her spirit cannot remain in limbo forever. That is a wild thing to say. Did all of the texts say something special like that? I really should have paid attention if they did, because that's wild. Ascend to the afterlife, return to the earth. Um, ascend to the afterlife sounds like a like a angelic kind of like thing, which kind of sounds cool. But return to the earth makes me think of like a skeleton sheep, which sounds way cooler to me. That's all right, Zombly. It's a great name. The Zombleed is a spirit that has refused to ascend to the afterlife. It clings to the grave and earth where it was buried. It may perhaps leave the mortal plane forever if it were to let go of its own headstone. Pretty cool. For now, I'll keep this pan sheep in the party just so it, we can maybe evolve that one as well. Why not? I was going to get rid of it, but... It might be fun. I'm gonna go this way now. I really don't want to deal with ghosts. I should have expected ghosts. I guess everyone just has some ghosts. Ooh! Little Red! You seem cool. Just in case, maybe we should try capturing it now. Maybe I should have used the basic tape to play it safe. Recording. 
because I could technically use a basic tape to, uh... Goodness. I could use basic tape basically like false swipe. Uh, apparently I caught it though without really trying. So I can dig it. Little Reds in their immature states have the potential to maintain their civil and friendly personas into adulthood or given to their inner beasts. What would drive such a courteous creature to such bloodlust? What does that? Well, like carnivores inner beast. I don't know, man. What does that mean? Is there like a prim and proper ability? Oh. I will kill you just because we can. Damage roll. I hope I get a critical failure. That would be really funny. Oh, it's mad. I mean, everything it has right now seems to be like inner beast related. Maybe I need to like desperately avoid having any potentially uh, uncourteous skills attached to it. I don't know. That's also going under the assumption that it has multiple evolutions. Didn't you already have Bite? I guess you just learned it again. Oh, the head got removed. I saw it. I seen it. Mm. Would have been nice to just evolve Scampire now, but whatever. It's fine. Try to catch you. I think, um... I think my fire guy actually is uh, ready to evolve right now, which is good because Charlie Quinn will be our new fire guy. I don't think Bite has a missed chance, but we lowered the accuracy at some point. Oh, not the Venge... Oh, I didn't know that could miss. Convenient for us. Charlie Quinn's uh, gimmick seems pretty neat. I'm kind of a fan of it. I'm gonna just bite so we actually attack you. I'll try a basic tape. I don't think there's any reason not to, except for the fact that the chance is real low. I'm glad you hit me and not someone else. Oh, I didn't even notice. Uh, yeah, I guess Return to the Earth did turn me into a ground type. That's pretty cool. Oh, look at that chance increase, though. Nice. Charlie Quinn uses its oversized sleeves to store items used for public performances. This includes fireworks, flammable materials, incendiary devices, and more. And you know what? That fire typing makes a lot of sense. User tells a random joke. This has no effect. Good. Randomizes the user's type at the end of each round. That's pretty cool. I wonder if anyone else can actually learn that or if it's stuck on you. Oh, a little bit more for Sal Salamangus. Once that is ready, though, we'll, uh... We'll switch it out. I love the, like, spike door. I need a thing. Dang. can't pick that up. I thought maybe I could put it on the pedestal. Very spooky. Oh, yeah, so prize tickets are in here. Nice.
I can't find my way out of here. If any of you find this, don't come looking for me. Try and send for help instead. P. Put a button down there. Oh, price tickets are always appreciated. I need key. Can I actually cross? I cannot. I was thinking that at the very least I might want to catch another little red. That description super makes it sound like it's going to have two forms, so... That son of a bitch. It's going to be really funny if it's on the other side when I cross over here. I said that, but I was joking. Wasn't that funny? Ruby Eye. One more time. Joke's on me, it's a Charlie Quinn now. Well, I mean, the good thing is it's an overworld sprite, so it's not like it's gonna be that difficult to find one. There's a chance I might have been lucky in finding that, um, I don't know why I didn't press the right button for that. Two! Are those like little hands? Like, is it holding its hands close together? I kind of want to be a little bit more careful about going in here. I mean, you're a beast, so you're not going to do too much to my plant wall. Oh no, you did too much to my plant wall. And now it's angry. I'm gonna switch you out. To my other band sheep. That'll do the trick. Okay, kind of rude. Honestly. Didn't really consider my feelings when you attacked. Great. Good Banshee. Really pulled two. And that seemed to work fine. Hoping for that poison as well. Let's go. Now it's angry. Is there like any abilities that are like... Oh, my recording failed. Very cool. Uh, we'll just try again with basic tape and then maybe I should give up on that and just... Attack normally, or gives you chrome tape, maybe. Bone cannon. No, not me. Ow. Hey, we caught it, though. So now I have options. It might also just be uh, as simple as... Also, I did not realize how crazy your stats were. It might be as simple as just giving us the option when we use it. Cold story uncommon. More accuracy. And our banshee can evolve into a different ghoul. Removed. Ruby Eye.
Maybe, maybe I'll uh, leave for a minute. We can assess our situation. Probably should try to run into a ghost just to see if they have anything special. Also, depending on what kind of evolve or what I want to do, I might want to go into one of the other places to see what they have, if it's anything more unique. You know, taking on the land keepers like we did, in other words, that would be probably illegal, right? But it was the right thing to do because their business plans involved messing with people's lives. I guess there's a big difference between the law and true justice, huh? Okay. Good job, Eugene. Ascend. That's alright. Woltergeist. Surprised you're more melee focused. Unlike the Banshee, the Woltergeist is an undead spirit that only partially manifests on the physical. Oh, it's astral. On the uh, physical plane, it is said that when it is in proximity to a place where a death recently took place, the horns on its head grow sharper. You are more defensive, but still pretty good in melee attack. You have more speed, but I... Zombly kind of seems cooler. I'm kind of more into it also. Um... Let's get rid of Glaston, because I don't think he can turn into anything. I think we can get rid of you too. Well, uh, we'll we'll bring Jelly back. One, because it's close to being done, but also it's been working pretty well as a alternative to my weak babies that I brought on. <laughs> 